Hello everyone, my name is Tim Brown. Welcome to my Apple Podcast. For this episode, I want to focus on a special application that was just released recently. It's called Doodlecast Pro. And you may have heard of that name before. Uh, the makers of this app also produce Doodlecast for Kids. And it's a great application for kids that allows you to connect storytelling ability with your ability to create or draw a narrative. So you're narrating the narrative as well as drawing the narrative simultaneously in a video. And the screen is being recorded while you're doing it. And you can save that video to your camera library. Well, Doodlecast Pro offers the same features minus the pictorial elements that aid young kids in telling a story. One thing I like about it is that it gives you the screen recording capability and you can actually save the recording to your library. There are a lot of other cool applications that give you this capability but unfortunately they do not give you the customization of allowing you to save your project to your camera library. You usually have to save it to some website where there's a community of people who are also saving their projects. And while I like the online community aspect of things, you know, posting all of your photos and videos to a central location online, I do not like that to be the only option. The main reason why I'm highlighting this application is because it can do that. I mean, when you're done, it will save your project to your library and or you can post it to YouTube or other online sites. And it really, it really isn't complicated at all. It's actually a very simple application. And I'm going to show you just what those basic features are. One, you can draw or paint with a brush and you can control the size of your brush. So I'm just going to write the title of the program here. So it's my Apple You also have the option to change the type of paper that you draw on. So I'm going to go here and just show you a few options. I can actually choose a checkered background, uh, a comic background. I can choose a default background, which is that color there. Uh, you can use a graph line, graph plot, grid. There are a number of different options that you have here which is kind of nice. Now if you don't want to use the preset backgrounds, well, they even have one for storyboard, believe it or not, which is very cool. Uh, but you can also access your albums as well. There are two tabs basically, one for backgrounds and one for albums. So I can go into albums and I can go ahead and select a photo from my album. And it posts it in just like that. And what's nice too, you can use this to actually draw over images, which could come in handy if you're going over diagrams or annotating images and things of that nature. And what you could do is you could basically go in and just draw right over top of the image. This would be great, like for a drawing app, you were illustrating, you know, how to line up your figure. Um, you're doing like rib cage, clavicle. Let's just say you were doing something anatomical. You're just showing someone some the basics of drawing. It's it's a very cool feature, and the whole time I'm doing this, my activity is being recorded on screen, which is really nice. Um, there is an erase tool, so you can go in and erase any mistakes that you've made. So I'm actually going in and erasing some of the red marks that I made earlier. So you can see, it, it's a very um, fun application, very easy to use, by the way. And once you're done, you just hit stop on the record button. It's also recording my voice, too, by the way. And I'm using the earphones that come with the iPhone with the built-in microphone. It's actually better for recording. So I'm going to go ahead and st stop. And what's amazing is that you can actually continue where you left off. So I realized that I didn't say goodbye to everyone. So I went back, pressed the record button again uh, in order to conclude this episode. So that's what I'll do. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode. I would encourage you to go out, buy a copy of DoodleCast Pro, fool around with it, let me know what you think. 
Again, what's great is that you can save it to your camera roll. I appreciate you for tuning in. This is Tim Brown. I'll see you next time. Made with